Hello everyone. Welcome to our course Introduction to Web3. I am Anjali and I will be your guide for this course. In today's lesson, we are going to discuss about the different layers in the blockchain technology. So, let's first have a quick overview about this layer architecture uh, in the blockchain technology. So, at the bottom most layer, we have the hardware layer, which is the uh, layer which deals with all the hardware components in the blockchain technology. On top of it, we have the layer 0, which is known as the network layer or uh, this is mostly responsible for connecting the nodes and interacting with them and all the resources are taken care of in this layer infrastructure is taken care of by this layer basically the connection between the nodes and the communication between the nodes moving on to the next layer we have the blockchain platform so this is the layer where we take care of the uh, consensus mechanisms basically this layer takes care of the security aspect of the blockchain since we know it's a de decentralized platform and we need to maintain the integrity of the data and we need to encrypt the data and make it safe for communication since we're storing the same data on multiple machines so there needs to be uh, the all the new data which has to be added uh, or if the blockchain state has to be changed we need to ensure that the correct data is being added and there is no uh, um, um, uh, changes made to the previous data for all that we have something called as consensus mechanisms side chains blockchain so we have a lot of uh, things happening here so this is followed by layer 2 in this layer we mostly take care of a scaling solutions since we know that blockchain because it's decentralized and because you have to take care of the security aspects so the transactions number of transactions per second are very low in blockchain which makes it a very slow system so in order to enhance the throughput we have this layer in place three which is the application layer so this layer mostly takes care of the user interface now let's uh, talk about all the layers a bit in detail starting with layer zero as i told you it's the foundation layer it's also known as the infrastructure layer and uh, it basically uh, so uh, though there is a separate uh, hardware layer at the bottom but since this layer is just on top of it so we assume that layer 0 basically comprises of all the infrastructural resources so the hardware the protocols the connections and all the other components all the resources are take physical resources physical hardware physical protocols and all the network connections are taken care of in this layer we have the interchain operability interchain operability is a feature wherein um, we have some functions which are common or which can be uh, transferred to multiple chains so this is a point this is taken care of at the layer 0 itself also the internet connection or the network connection which is used for the communication peer to peer communication between different nodes in the blockchain is also taken care of at this layer Polkadot, Avalanche, Cardano, Cosmos, these are the examples of layer 0 blockchains. Moving on to layer 1, as I told you, we, uh, the security is ensured in the blockchain network at this layer. So, all the consensus mechanisms which we are going to talk about in uh, the next lesson also, the coding language and all the rules which are embedded in the code, everything is taken care of at this level. It, that is why it is also known as the implementation layer because all the uh, security aspects all the uh, execution things happen here and all the blockchains like bitcoin ethereum binance Solana, all these form the layer one blockchains because these at this level the major work of uh, uh, consensus and coding languages and everything is happening so all the operations are taking place so that's why this is the implementation layer and the main layer Moving on to the next layer, which is the layer 2. So, as I told you, that layer 1, because it has a lot of work to do, so it makes the uh, blockchain very slow. So, the, to increase the throughput, we have something known as layer 2, which is known as the execution layer also. And it basically, uh, it is a new network layer kind of thing, which uh, uh, offloads some uh, responsibilities of layer 1, takes up some responsibilities from layer 1, so decongests layer 1. For example, it handles all the transaction authentication. So all the blockchains which work at layer 2 will be the ones which will be sitting on top of some layers, some other blockchains and uh, basically decongesting them. So layer 2 sits on the top of layer 1 in the blockchain ecosystem and constantly exchange information with it. So one of the best examples for this is the Polygon and the Lightning Network. So Polygon is also a very popular blockchain because the number of transactions per second is much more than the Ethereum blockchain on which it sits. 
we have the layer 3 uh, blockchain so this blockchain as i discussed told you that uh, this uh, takes care of the user interface all the smart control uh, contracts and the dapps which we hear about are form formed in this layer and it is known as the application layer also and more major examples include the DAOs, the decentralized exchanges like Uniswap and wallet providers like Binance. So all these, uh, so basically the ones which interact with the, uh, with, with the people and uh, the interface basically happens here. So this is the layer which takes care of that. So that is it about the layer architecture in blockchain. See you in the next lesson.